for the actual presentation. Basically, I'm from a company called Cybery. We are a cyber security software company uh, dealing mainly with risks coming from outside the organization. Uh, we work with many financial institutions all over the world, okay? Uh, but uh, our main operations are, of course, uh, in Israel. <clears throat> Some statistics before I will jump into exactly what we are doing and I will give some examples. So those are uh, statistics that you can see in our systems on attacks going mostly against financial institutions. So we can see phishing attacks, uh, especially COVID accelerated this. So we see 300% year over year growth of uh, phishing campaigns targeting uh, financial institutions. We also monitor threat actors uh, that are running information stealers, basically stealing credit cards and login information to many services such as bank accounts and digital wallets. And in our platform, we see more than 1 million uh, those kinds of uh, leaked credentials, which basically I can tell you that in this room, probably at least one of you has his bank account compromised. Okay, uh, those are just uh, statistics. Uh, same goes for stolen credit cards, of course. And Tali and myself did many presentations and demos to financial institution, and just uh, amazing the things that uh, we can see in our platforms. And same goal for a lot of information coming from the dark net. Okay, uh, I don't want to waste a lot of time on the technology itself, just for you to understand. Uh, I can raise my voice. No, you can raise your voice. You raise your voice. So I will not uh, bore you with technology, but just for you to understand how we are doing what we are doing. So we monitor organizations from the outside. Okay, so we look at the organization as a hacker, as an attacker we look, and we will try to find any vulnerabilities on the organization from the outside. And the other thing that we are doing, we are monitoring the hackers themselves. So most of the hackers will operate from a secret classified places, we like to call the dark net, okay? And we monitor the threat actors in the dark net. We monitor them for more than seven years, in our database, and we are able to source more than 1 million new intelligence indicators per day. So this is quite a massive amount of data that we are having. And once we gather all this data about the company, we are helping the company by issuing alerts, often threats against the company, such as a customer that has been breached, or an employee has been breached, or there was a phishing campaign, impersonating the bank, impersonating the company. Okay, <clears throat> uh, I think I will, yes, I will go straight to an example. So I would like to show you a live example of what we are doing with our customers. In this case, this is a bank from the Philippines, uh, but I have the same story with Israeli banks from three weeks ago. Maybe I will elaborate on it. So basically what, what, we, what we did here, we detected a phishing campaign targeting uh, customers of this specific bank. So what you can see, I hope this laser will work. No. So you can see here, this is a screenshot from our platform. And on the other side, this is the phishing email itself. So probably some of you have seen similar with your banks. Uh, so we detected this phishing email. After we detected, we issued an alert to the bank saying that we found a new phishing campaign targeting the bank. Once we issued it, the bank asked us to conduct a further investigation. So what we did, we went and searched for the specific threat actor operating this server, sending those emails, and we started monitoring his activity in the darknet. This is a YouTube video that he uploaded, but here you can see this is a darknet post, okay? And it's not accessible by us, it's mostly accessible by hackers. And you can see also a piece of code that we found. And by the piece of code, we were able to detect the real person, okay? 
sitting behind the computer and he was took into custody okay so just for you to understand at the end of all those digital risks there is someone that is taking the money to himself and this is how we help the bank uh, stop this specific uh, hacker from doing phishing campaigns against the banks i have a similar story from israel from three weeks ago uh, we we found something that looked malicious and we did an investigation with the banks and also with the israeli police and uh, three weeks ago it was announced and uh, we found two i would say young men from uh, lord lord is a city in israel that were doing a massive campaign to steal credit cards from banks okay and the way the way we found it is because they were exchanging in the darknet either techniques to steal online credit cards or they offered for sale credit cards so we gave the police all the forensic evidence and they are now into custody and i have more time right yeah so i have a i have time for another interesting example so uh, the next example i'd like to show you is that we are not just working with financial institutions we also work with many companies such as a big retailers big e-commerce platforms okay uh, so basically when you want to buy fashion items online there is a very popular scam uh, called refund fraud basically refund fraud is uh, is amazing before i joined the company i never heard about it but basically what is going on is that in the darknet or in telegram groups people are offering services to help you get a refund on an item that you bought but you will not need to return the item so basically let's say you buy a shirt you get the money back but you still own the shirt so the people that operate those kind of activities are offering a split in the refund money okay so if i bought a shirt for 50 dollars i will get 25 dollars the hacker will get 25 dollars so in this case we found another refund fraud activity offered in the darknet so we get a screenshot from our platform we gave an alert and the specific customer working with us wanted a further investigation we engaged with the threat actor in this case it was whatsapp the default telegram and we told them yes we are interested we want to buy stuff and we want to do refund with you we built an online fake identity so the hacker will not know that we are the cyber security company helping uh, helping this e-commerce retailer so we started the uh, real order of goods from this company so those two nice people are from uh, my company they got the boxes with everything and they even got the money back okay uh, and in the meantime while we were doing this with the threat actor the company that we are working with did a very close monitoring of our transaction so what they did while we engaged with the threat actor they understood in their systems what was the business logic that this specific threat actor was abusing was bypassing in order to offer those refund services they stopped this uh, business logic from being abused and this kind of refund fraud is not possible against this specific customer this specific company i can tell you that the biggest uh, things that were was in the news uh, some one person okay stole from amazon around quarter of a million dollars okay by doing refund fraud so we found a way to buy uh, i would say technology equipment laptops and so forth uh, get them get them back to amazon but he will send something else and still he's got he got his money back and he stole quarter of a million dollars from amazon so you can imagine yourself uh, how popular this service is so basically this is what we are doing this is my uh, our daily job and we see a lot of data on many many companies so if you would like uh, to do a scan together with me on your specific company to see what we can see and if we see any hacker activities going on against your company or any phishing campaign customer that has been breached employee that has been breached feel free to reach me out or reach out we'll be very happy to run a, a scan on our system 
and show you what we could see. This is unbelievable, I mean, really the case study that you've seen in that, I, I think you've seen your presentation several times and uh, every time there's a new use case and something happened, but uh, the refund really was, was truly amazing. So what, what, amazing, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I, I can say just one thing. Uh, I joined the company one year ago and I got access to the system with all the massive data. And I was spending the whole night searching for stuff and it was literally it's endless it's crazy what is going on with the dark web so if you've never seen before what hackers are doing uh, it's really really crazy and just this is just two examples okay that we are uh, have the ability to share and it's okay to share we have many many other examples of crazy things very happy to share it offline with you thank you very much thank you